Hi guys, Angel here. I uh, just wanted to share with you one, another video. This week on my page, I talked a lot about the heart, love, the mind-heart conflict that we all experience. Um, and I just wanted to add on a couple of more things to that. For example, I wanted to talk about the nature of the mind, meaning our thoughts. Um, our mind is restless, it's fickle, meaning that it, it's always changing. Um, it can go in a thousand different directions. Um, the mind relies uh, on memory. If you're trusting your mind to make decisions for you, you're limited to what you have known up to this point. Versus the heart. The heart is connected to your soul, which is your, your essence, your true nature, your higher self. That's, that's intuition. That's, that's love. That's peace. That's, that's joy. That's compassion. Um, you're animated by spirit, the spirit of God, and, and, and spirit is creative. And so that's what creates. It's not your mind. Uh, your mind is a tool that we use to create, but it's not what creates. It's, it's, it's the intuitive self, the higher self. That's why they call it being inspired. When inspiration hits, you're inspired, you're in spirit, you're being creative. So when it comes to, to creating um, things... That's where it comes from. When it comes to trusting your decisions, do you are you really going to trust your mind? Again, knowing that it's always changing. It goes in a thousand different directions. It's restless. And it's limited by what you know. Now, spirit, on the other hand, create creative, your true essence, your imagination, even though that's in the mind, but again, imagination is creative. That embraces... Well, we don't know yet. It's it's unlimited. Anything is possible from that point. Um, when it comes to to who you are, I mean, you, if I'm telling you that your essence is love and that your essence is peace and that your essence is creative, then someone might say, "Okay, I understand that. If that's the case, then why am I so restless? Why am I so anxious?" Well, that's not your true self. That's just the reflection in your mind of your true self. Much like the moon being reflected in the water. If you look at the water, the moon looks like it's moving because of the wind. There's, there's outside factors affecting the water. But the moon is steady. So you, your true self, is always steady. It's always constant. That's one thing about truth. It never changes. It's always constant. And it, with, and it withstands the test of time. So when it comes to making your decisions, what are you going to trust? Something that's always changing? Or something that's always steady, that's always going to be there for you. So, going back to your true self. So, my, some of you might say, well, my personality makes me who I am. Well, let me tell you something about your personality. Your personality is only a reflection of your true self, of who you really are. It's not the real you. It's aspects of that. It's only a reflection. So, if you're going to have a personality to, to exist in the world... Why not make that personality as, personality as close to the original as possible, to the true self? When you understand that, when you're operating from that point, which is by opening up your heart to your true self, to love, to essence, to peace, to God, to spirit, whatever you want to call it, you don't worry so much. Your fears fall off and trust happens. So... A lot of people say, like I said earlier in a post, they say you only connect the dots looking back. Well, what I say to you and what I propose to you is if you live from this place, if you disconnect the mind and stop listening to it so much and trust your heart, then you'll know and you trust that all your dots are connected already before you approach any new experience. And what's the point of mastering the mind? What's the point of quieting the mind? What's the point of stilling the mind? To get it out of our way so it doesn't distract us so it doesn't deter us from who we really are and what we're trying to accomplish so again what are you going to trust next time you find yourself in that mind heart con conflict what are you going to trust something that's changing something that's not steady or what's always and will always be there your true self thank you